everybody, it's Dr. Magnifico from Jair's Velvet and Polly.com. This is Socks. Socks presented a, a couple days ago for having trouble urinating. So this is a blocked cat. Unfortunately, we see a lot of them. And unfortunately, it is a very common occurrence. And unfortunately, a lot of times they don't get the help that they need or they end up someplace where the help that they need is too expensive. Um, this, this owner was um, in such financial difficulties that he searched for a place to get a free exam because he didn't even have enough money to get an exam. An exam here is about $50. Um, he found some place online that would give him a free exam. He brought his cat in and they immediately diagnosed him with being urinary, a urinary blockage. Um, we talk a lot about urinary blockages. The bladder lives in be right in front of your back legs. So here is the spine, here is the back legs. You know, I can palpate the leg, and then right in front of, here's the knee, here's the hip, so where that leg moves from, right in front of them is where your bladder lives. His bladder is literally this big. So when I press on it, he's actually urinating a little bit, but it's really pretty bloody, and it's really pretty thick, and it really feels pretty gritty. So this cat has a, has a bladder that is this big, the size of a, you know, a, it's a, a baseball size. So this, at some point, will a blocked cat will at some point their bladder will rupture and they will ble they will leak urine into their abdomen, and that will kill them. Um, most ERs will charge somewhere between fifteen hundred dollars and thirty five hundred dollars. It is about eight hundred dollars here for us to give them the care they need, which is unblocking them, which is placing a urinary catheter, um, and then running them on fluids. You know, we usually want to do an X ray. Uh, your analysis and blood work. The diagnostics alone can easily cost you three or four hundred dollars. For some people, the three or four hundred dollars to get the diagnosis means that they don't have enough money to do the treatment. So we are going to do a very down and dirty unblock cat. Um, at this practice, if we cut all the corners, unblocking the cat is about two hundred dollars, and then the hospitalization with IV fluids is about a hundred dollars a day. So it really minimum is about a five hundred dollar deal. Um, I am going to do a whole long blog. Um, so if you you follow my blog I'm going to give you in part of my get out alive series I'm going to give you some options for getting it even cheaper than that if your cat is dying from a urinary blockage you have to cut every single corner to get them unblocked there is no other way for some cats if they are comatose you literally can extrude the penis so that is the penis coming out of the sheath and then massage it and it will get rid of the calculi that's causing it to block at the urethra so male cats have a problem with this because they're of their anatomy they have a very small penis and with any amount of sludge i'm actually palpating the penis now and i can feel that there's there's a sludge blockage right at the distal end of it so i'm trying to massage it to dislodge that piece of calculi and then open up the bladder again. So sometimes just massage will remove it and they can pee again. Sometimes taking the urine out of the bladder, so we have a, we have a syringe here. So decompressing the bladder will also help because there's back pressure that's pushing that sludge even further. I am just going to try to remove that piece of sludge and then I'm going to try to place a catheter. You know, if you're really lucky, Sometimes you can just remove, I can just remove the sludge and then place a catheter pretty easily. That will certainly help with the cost of care for this guy. So this is a olive tipped syringe catheter and I'm right in the end of the penis and I can feel that grit and that calculi as I'm trying to dislodge it. So there are lots of options. Some of them are cheap, some of them are expensive. But you know, one of the things that's important to remember is that these guys need to be unblocked immediately, and then they need to be kept on fluids to flush the the blockage out of them. Kate, can you get me um, a syringe bag so that I can put more fluid? Okay, so that is the catheter into the bladder. So I just pushed whatever that was back into the bladder and now I should be able to place a urinary catheter. You know, some of these guys come in and they are so, um, they are so catatonic that literally you can place it without anesthesia. I typically put them under anesthesia because I want to get everything in and I want to get it done. So yeah, that piece of sludge is still in there. So talk to your veterinarian. You know, don't spend a whole lot of money. There we go. Don't spend a whole lot of money getting yourself to a diagnosis when and then when you and then not be able to afford to treat it because that won't do your cat any good. 
So that's what you want to see. You want to see a cat peeing. Um, I'm going to put a catheter in and he's, we're going to flush his bladder and he will stay here for a couple days. <clears throat> if you have any questions, you can find me at Jarrett's Buffet. You can find me at Pobly.com. You can follow my blog. Um, you know, I don't think, I think it's pretty difficult to, to treat a cat without it being a couple hundred dollar excursion. But you cannot wait. You cannot waste time. These guys need to get unblocked ASAP or you will have um, potentially a fatal outcome. So please talk to me about preventing this. Um, talk to me about what diet is indicated um, so that this doesn't happen to your cat. Happens overwhelmingly in indoor cats. So that's the urine. So we're in the bladder. I'm going to place this catheter. To be completely honest with you, it probably took me all of what? three minutes to do and you know most places are charging twenty five to thirty five hundred dollars if you have to cut every single corner cut every single corner um, get your cat the, the care they need don't wait don't shop around don't hope that it's gonna get better it's not gonna get better keep your indoor cats on an exclusive wet food diet I will see say this happens more commonly on for indoor cats who are on a poor dry food um, and you know don't wait get find somebody who will unblock your cat for you it's got to happen if you really can't afford to get anything done get someone to at least remove the urine from the bladder at least do that overnight if you're at the ER and they give you $2,500 just tell them you want to take the urine out of the bladder find your vet first thing in the morning and have them put a urinary catheter in make sure this doesn't ever happen to you again by feeding them a high quality wet food diet. Um, nobody should be euthanizing a cat because they block. If your cat blocks once and then blocks again, find somebody who will do a penile urethrostomy for you. So we call it a PU surgery. Just remove, we remove the distal genitalia um, because the cost of doing that, it's about $1,000 here to have that surgery done versus the cost of being $3,500 at the ER. My goal is to never have one cat die from this. It's just senseless. They shouldn't be dying. That's all it takes. Unblocking them, removing the calculi, and then putting a catheter in. It's quick, it's simple, it's easy. It shouldn't be something that people have to euthanize their animals for. Find me at Jared's or probably.com. Wish socks luck. Bye.